We are all on our own paths, all on our own journeys. Sometimes the paths cross and people arrive at the crossing points at the same time and meet each other. There are greetings, pleasantries are exchanged, and then they move on. But then, once in a while, the pleasantries become more. Friendship grows, deeper links are made, hands are joined and love flies. The friendship has turned into love. They will now skip together in harmony and love sharing joys and sorrows, hopes and fears, strengthening and upholding each other as they walk along, side by side. And at home, by the fire, whenever I look up, there you will be. And whenever you look up, there I shall be. I've now got to talk a little about Emily. It's required in the format of Father of the Bride speeches. She's got a fierce determination to do things well, to organise herself and others on occasion, unless you've missed it, and to succeed in whatever she takes on. Chris has been incredibly supportive for Emily and encouraging in all she looks to achieve, and I know the reverse applies. We couldn't wish her a better partner in life for Emily. A few years into our relationship, and shortly after we'd been to a friend's wedding, Emily asked me if we were best friends. And I said no. I, I thought that best friends was a different type of relationship, and that you're my best friend was just something that grooms said in speeches because they had to. <sighs> However, in the year since, we've become best friends. We spend far too much time together, we have far too many in-jokes, and we can talk about anything. And she makes my life better. With her silliness, her vulnerability, and her love. So this has not been the year that we had planned. It's not quite the wedding that we had planned. But I will do everything I can to give you the life we had planned. I love you very much. To Emily.